You know, it used to be, remember when you first went over to somebody's house for a birthday party? Huh? You remember that? Remember it was like, oh, um, you know, Kenneth is having a party and you got an invitation. Remember that shit? You got an invitation. And that shit said Kenneth's house. Or if his parents were divorced, it'd be like Kenneth's dad's house. 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. That shit only lasted an hour. When you were a kid, boy, that shit lasted one hour. And dude, you got up early. You got up early as hell. And a lot of times, if we had to get somebody a gift, what my mom would do is say, look around the house. Find something Kenneth would like. And that was like a test as to how greedy you were or not. Because you know good and well, I'm not giving Kenneth the nice shit. You know good and well, I ain't giving little, little, uh, little itchy ass Kenneth the good shit. I'm not giving him a new toy that I hadn't opened or, you know, some money or anything. So I go around the house, bruh. Come back to my mama about maybe an hour later. Have something all just in a little box or bag. My mom looking there, it would just be like my bed sheet, just folded up. I'd be like, this is for Kenneth. My mom would be like, what the fuck? You giving Kenneth their bed sheet? That's insane. Go find something else for Kenneth. And you would do something wild. You would maybe break Kenneth off a couple cheese slices or something. You know, or maybe something, uh, you know, you wrap him up a couple of batteries or something. It was just different. You find anything around the house. Oh, Kenneth will love this uh, Phillips head screwdriver. You know, the next thing you know, four year old Kenneth out there with a Phillips head. It just, those were the days. But remember that when you went to somebody's party? You were like, Mom, is it time to go yet? She's like, No, it's 9 a.m. You're like, Oh, fuck. What comes after 9? 1 p.m.? And she'd be like, No. No wonder you wrapped up a bed sheet for Kenneth. But that was it. You were so excited. You would brush, do you would brush your hair. You would comb your hair and brush your hair. I remember combing and brushing my shit. Putting that hairspray, dude. Because I grew up in the hairspray belt. You know, I mean, you fix all, everybody put air, hairspray, on, hairspray on everything. You know, sometimes if your carpet got real old and mashed down. I remember in my neighborhood, a lot of mothers would go around with like a will a Brillo brush kind of and brush it up and then spray it with hairspray to give it that pop, you know, to give the, give you a step that give you, you know, put a little bit of, it will, it will put a little bit of crunch under your bare foot in the house, but it would give your carpet that lift, make it look fresh and new right off that carpet truck. Because they also had, if you wanted to get carpet, they had a carpet truck about every six months come through. And it would park up there off of Lee Road, down by where I was from. And you'd go up there and pick a color out. And they'd have three or four colors. You know, maybe get you... Some, one of the colors would always be fucking crazy. You'd be like, damn, they got a... Uh, they got a uh, fuchsia? So, but you know, a couple sisters come through and grab that fuchsia out of the gate. A couple brothers or a couple loked out white dudes come through. And they put carpet in their fucking car. I mean, it wasn't crazy when I was young to get into somebody's car and have it fully covered in carpet. I mean, it was just a different time back then. It was just more of a style thing. But yeah, you remember that birthday party? And then there was fucking Kenneth's gift. And that thing was sitting on the table. And man, all morning you had to walk around and just, you were like, fuck man. Why Kenneth getting everything and I ain't getting nothing? And by about 11 a.m., your mom, that's what your mom would be hearing. I never get anything. Kenneth gets everything. And meanwhile, you don't even fucking know who Kenneth is. You were one of those second or third degree friends that you just got, you know, that was back when you got invited because you had to. You know, that was like the old Facebook four-year-old birthday parties. It was like you had to know people. You had no escape. So 11 a.m., you crying now in the living room. Kenneth's shit is all wrapped up. You can't even remember what you got him. You didn't fucking get him shit. You gave him a couple color pencils that you had. 
you know, and maybe a yo-yo. Y'all got a little 40-cent yo-yo or something and put it in there. Meanwhile, you don't even know Kenneth, the dude in your class, ain't even got any arms. So now you fucking getting an armless kid a yo-yo, but you're not even there yet. So you crying, you pissed off, your mom's pissed off now. She's yelling, fuck Kenneth, fuck Kenneth's party. And now you're defending yourself, you're defending Kenneth. Ah, Kenneth, his mom is a nice lady. Now your mom's pissed at Kenneth's mom. Your mom starts whooping your ass because you're crying and screaming and fighting in the living room. Now you got your ass beat. Now you cry yourself to sleep. You take about a 40-minute nap. It's 20 to 1. You get up. It's time to go to Kenneth's. And you get to Kenneth's. And man, the place is lit. The place is lit as fuck. People got Kool-Aid uh, all colored on their mouth from drinking Kool-Aid. They got that one four-year-old kid. He can't even fucking talk yet. You know, they got another, they got one kid sitting by themselves just looking at the wall. They got that kid, little Andrea, you know, and they just live in life. And if somebody's in the backyard and somebody ran and, you know, they got a sprinkler fucking going. And it's a real shithole, but it don't matter because this is Kenneth's party. And those are the days, man, I remember those days. And we would go to this place called Roller Kingdom. Now, sometime, whenever you got about six or seven, you know, you was able to skate. You, ha you had that ability to skate. And so you go to straight up Roller Kingdom, man. It was dark in there. People touching each other's assholes and everything. All kind of wild shit. You and I mean, it's so dark. You fucking, you'll, you know, you'll lick your, you'll lick your sister's titty in, in there. And that's natural activity out there when you, because look, man, when s roller skates come on. That shit got me hard, bro. I was that little jouster out there on them skates, dude. I'd just be jousting with an erect, you know, I'd be out there just skating, but with that erection. And when you're young and you get that erection, boy, I don't kind of hide it. Now if I get an erection, I'm like, oh, somebody's going to complain or start something. But when I was young, over there by Roller Kingdom, and I'm popping off, you know, and I'm, and I'm sprouting. I'll, I'll push my pelvis forward, boy. I skate penis first, boy. I want everybody to see that I'm here to battle the dragon. And that's how I do it. And those were fun, man. I remember little kids' parties. Dude, one kid's house I went over to, I was just hit, about hit puberty. I went over to this one boy's house. And next, I didn't even go to the fucking party. Dude, the party's in the backyard. I saw his sister's bedroom. Dude, I stopped in there. Had my head in her panty drawer, bro. Dude, I had my face in that panty drawer for probably, fuck, that whole hour. That whole hour birthday. Because you know come about 1.55 p.m., boy, I heard my mom calling from the living room or honking. My mom was that fucking mom that would pull up and honk. Start honking. Didn't get, she didn't give a fuck about meeting your mom. She didn't give a, she didn't give a damn about meeting your dad. She was like the only single mom. So then other, all these dads were always trying to meet her and shit and walk me out to the car. My mom didn't give a fuck. My mom wouldn't even stop the car sometimes. She'd slow down as slow as a car could go. You know, maybe, which is maybe about, you know, 40 feet every maybe seven seconds. She would slow down as slow as you could go. And then you'd have to get in, man. My mom wasn't fucking playing. My mom didn't play. My mom was efficient and pissed off. And that's where I kept.